pickaxe. Like so. Okay, we must change our game mode. Slash game mode zero. Boom. Okay. So this is how it generates. This generated one block down as well. So this one and it's a tree farm. So you want to probably one block up if you want it level. Okay. So, uh... Boom. Ah, that's how it works. How awesome is that? Now this might, this might be a little bit overpowered, but... Greetings, 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 everyone today. Good on how right? Today's mod is called the Useful Structures mod. Should appear up there in a second like usual. What does the IE ask? It gives the ability in game to craft some useful structures. Now, I know there's loads of other ones out there, like uh, instant massive structures, but these are nicely done. They're not too expensive. They're not too uh, overwhelming. And they're really, really cool looking. So let's get into it and have a look, shall we? So, and it also adds a uh, charcoal block in it, a charcoal block in it here, which is just nine pieces of charcoal in a um, in your crafting mate in your crafting table. It's a charcoal block. But if you have a quick look, I've got one. I tried to. <laughs> long story short, I tried to click it on here so I could just show you because these are the things here. If you look down the bottom right hand corner, I'll show you the crafting recipes in a second. But you best to get just enough items or not enough items on there. Okay, this is just a little farm one. I clicked it on there and it crafted this farm, but you can see how, look, nice, compact, not overwhelming, not too big, just, just enough, you know what I mean? Not to, not over-exaggerated, plus we've got some cool glowstone there. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to nip across into a flat world and I'm going to show you some of these structures. So I'll see you in a right, second. here we are in a flat world, so let me show you some of these structures. Like I said, I know there's instant massive structures and there's, uh, there's quite a few out there, but these, for what the cost and how big they are, I mean, you can see on the other one, over... Over massive, they're not going to cause you major lag, and I think they're fitting too well, really well, and they're, and they're done really, really well. So this one here, this uh, is a um, farm. Okay, it's got a little, it's got a little room below it here. So we'll just have a quick look. So it's got some chests in here, ready for your stuff to be put into them. Yeah, it's, it's full of everything. Absolutely full of everything. Two doors in and out, and if we've got the little steps here, you can see the farm. So you have got your beetroots, your mer your watermelons, your pumpkins, your wheat. Carrots, potato, well that's carrots, that's potatoes. You know, cactus and your finger and your um, sugar cane. I mean, lovely, well done, well thought out, not too expensive. I'll show you the craft recipe in a second. Little storage room below for everything else. Your glowstone there so no mobs are going to spawn. How cool is that? And let's look at the crafting recipe, okay? So this is the crafting recipe. That. That is not expensive, is it? I know you need to get one of each of these, but you've got, you know, there's got to be some work involved in it if you're not, if you're too lazy to build your own one. But that, that's not too expensive. And boom, baby, you can have that. Absolutely awesome. This one here, I think this is a mob farm, is it? Yeah, mob farm. Exactly the same idea, you know what I mean? I'll show the crafting recipe first. There'll be a download link in the description like usual. It's down there. Click on show more, go to the bottom, and it's down there. But the crafting recipe for this, look at that. You can see it, any colour wall. Not expensive, not expensive for the structure you're going to get. And it's a cool looking structure. But if we go in here, obviously I've got normal mobs not spawning. So you've got your cows in here, you've got your chickens, and you've got your sheep. And then obviously across here, you've got your uh, your bad mobs. Okay, you can see that with a skeleton is there. Um, normal skeletons there. So you've got your bone for your bone meal for your what's name, and your spiders for your spider arms. Obviously I'm on peaceful at the moment, otherwise they'd be spawning in there. Some little storage chests at the bottom. I think, to be honest, you might have to put a what's name round there, stop the spiders from escaping, but still still an awesome little structure if we just go up top here, have a look, y you know what I mean, put some doors in it, absolutely brilliant, there it is, you ain't got to worry about your spawners and your mob farms and everything else, like I said, you've got your cows there, they're just going to keep generating, you kill them, obviously another cows will appear, absolutely brilliant, and the crafting recipe is not that expensive, uh, awesome, and look at it, it's not, it's not overall, you know what I mean, it's not like, wow, yeah, yeah, alright, and you, you never built that, you know, that, just normal, not causing any lag when they generate. I'll generate a few in a second, didn't think it. This is a tree farm. Okay, for the tree farm, it's crafted like so. So you can see it there. All right, so any any of the blocks, any of the woods together, or any of the uh, logs and any of the woods together, the uh, saplings, that's the word I'm looking for, saplings together, or get you a mixed tree farm like this. Okay, now this one, normally I click them on the ground. This one clicks the ground lower, so you have to remember the tree farms, put them on a block R and click them if you want them at ground level. But just, just have a look. So you've got all your, all your thingies in there. You've got your acacia, your jungles, your oak, your dark, your birch. Not too, not not over-exaggerated. Just just enough. Just enough. I can't say it's enough, but just enough. <laughs> okay. So I'll show you the craft recipe for that. Yeah, no, it's nice and cheap. No, like I said, none of them are really, really expensive, neither. This one here, we have got a uh, storage room. Okay, crafty like so. Eight chests and diamond. Eight chests and a diamond. And you've got, your, you've got a cool looking storage room. You imagine, you know, building a little town with these already in. You know, eight, you know, eight chests and a diamond and you've got this thing in here. 
Let's go in and have a look, shall we? Awesome. Little chest. You've got all your chests here. Double chests. You've got your furnace. Crafting tables. Away you go. All lit up and everything else. Nice set of doors. Nicely made. Absolutely nicely done as well. You, you know what I mean? Not over the top. I don't keep saying it, but some of them can be over the top. This. This is one of Cheesecake's favourites, to be honest with you. This, if I remember right, is the enchanting room. Okay. Crafting recipe for the enchanting room. So, not crazy. You know what I mean? You're going to need to make that anyway for your enchantment table, yeah, for your enchanting room. And you're going to need to make more bookshelves than these. You need a law two or any kind of any kind of book to be honest with you, any kind of enchanted book. You got your Neville War and everything else. Like I said, get just enough items or not enough items. This here is uh, just enough items I use. Okay, you click it on the ground and this is what you get. You got a little Neville Walk farm here. <laughs> An awesome, beautiful looking structure. Let's go inside and have a look. Are you ready for this? Boom, baby. Put your chests here, ready? Bring in the chest. Brewing stands. Your water to fill your water bottle. Thought of everything here. Your enchantment table and a ladder. I don't, to be honest, I didn't go up here and have a look. What's up here? Oh, what do you think's up here? More storage. Thinking of everything. And just look at it. Absolutely awesome build this is. I mean, let's face it, right? You can, you can take the enchantment tables out. Knock this through. Little house. Little village. Little known village. And spawn a few of these in. You know what I mean? You've got a little known village. Awesome. Awesome little structure. Let's just have a quick... Fly around because I want to do them justice because I'll tell you what, I think they're absolutely brilliant. All right, next one here, ore farm. I've got to have a look how this ore farm works. So, this is your farm, okay? To craft it, you're going to have to do that. Okay, so you need an iron pickaxe and one of each ore. So, you've got your never quartz, lapis, and everything else. So, I'm not too sure how this works. I'll spawn it in, but I didn't have a look. So, let's get myself an iron pickaxe, like so. Okay, we just change our game mode slash game mode. Zero. Boom. Okay. So this is how it generates. This generated one block down as well. So this one and it's a tree farm. So you want to probably one block up if you want it level. Okay. So, uh... Boom. Ah, that's how it works. How awesome is that? Now this might, this might be a little bit overpowered, but... <laughs> hey! You want an ore farm. You want an ore farm. I'm not, I'm not caving. I'm not caving. Caving's for commerce. That is absolute. That's awesome. How do you tell? That. Let's just have a quick look. That is cheap. That is cheap for that. How cool is that? That's that's brilliant. That's that's. I wondered how it worked. I didn't test it before. I test it when I uh, want to show you. But that is absolutely outstanding. <laughs> brilliant. Okay. So there you got your different kind of farms. Best farm ever. Uh, you've also got a few houses in it. Let's just have a quick run across here. I'll try to fight them. Let's just do this. This. So I can move around a bit faster. Boom, right. So you've got different kind of houses. So you got your, you start off down here with this kind of house. I think this is the basic kind of house, first of all. Okay. Crafting recipes like so. Cheap, cheap. So dark oak planks. Okay. Uh, oak planks there. Dark oak door and a bed. Any colour bed. And you've got yourself this house. You know, it's not too fancy, but it's just just enough. Me personally. I'll have loads of them. That's why I've spawned one over there. I was going to make a village to show you how cool it was. So you got your double bed in there, you've got a couple of chests in there, crafting table and a furnace. Everything you need to get going. Nice little starter home. Not too expensive to answer you. You know what I mean? And, and not too dear to, to finger. This is house number two. Getting a bit better. This one spawn one block down as well. So you just have to be careful of that if you spawn in the new world. Okay, recipe for this, like so. So you can see it going through. It's any stone really, any cracked stone, chisel stone, stone bricks, dark oak plants, bed and a door. Okay, house two. Upgrading in a little bit. Nice little, little, little bit better. We'll go in here and have a look. So you've got your chest, got a little furnace, got your bedroom. Absolutely. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, so desperately wanted to build a little pixie village. So that's house number two. House number three. Now we're getting a bit more in there. You know what I mean? If you go a bit further on in your game or you're building a village. Like I said, yeah, you've got instant massive. So I know I keep going back to that, which is an awesome mod. I did a mod showcase on it. And there's a few instant structures mod. But these are just nice little, not too expensive, not too cheap. Might be a little bit overpowered, but ah, me to ask me, I don't care. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. That whole form. Right. House number three. Crafting recipes like so. So you're going to need your white concrete. You're going to need dark stained glass, a uh, black stained glass, should I say. An oak plank and a door. Okay, and you get yourself this house. Now, if you're not the best builder in the world, let's just sort of fly around this house. If you're not the best builder in the world, this is a cool looking house. Absolutely cool looking house. I mean, I can't build something like that. I'm absolutely useless. Let's go inside and have a look, shall we? Nice living room area, a couple of pictures, some nice chests up there. 
Nice window to have a look at. Furnaces. Practical as well. You've got your light there. Obviously, then that's going to give off light. You know what I mean? How cool is that? Bedroom and everything else. Beautiful. Beautiful little building. And not too expensive. Can we just... Uh... There we go. I want to do that. Last but not least is this one here. Which is a castle, I think. A modern castle or an old... It is called a house number four. Medieval castle. Crafting recipes like so. So it's a stone brick, six of them, a door and a bed. And you've got this. And this is a cracking little place, this is. Okay, let's have a quick look around it. So you can see it like that. It's got the four turrets on each corner. Pinnacle turrets, isn't it? Four turrets on each corner. We'll drop inside and have a look. Some nice, nice door. All made of it. There's your bed. Boom, baby. You know what I mean? Obviously, this is to get into your turrets. <laughs> Great! Your bed's there, you've got some chests, you've got your crafting table, you've got two furnaces, and you can go out into your turrets. I mean, oh, it's coming in here, get out of you are, get off my land. Brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And that's all there is to it, really. It's a really, really, oh, it's a really, really well made mod. Really, really well made mod. Not too overpowering, I mean, just, you can look at the size of them here, they're not massive, they're not overthinging, the, you know, the form, the all, yeah, you could say the all farm's over, but. You don't have to spawn it in. It's up to you if you want to spawn that in or not. That, to make yourself a pixie village, absolutely awesome. Or a little gnome village or whatever. You know, your, your mob farm there, your tree farms, storage rooms, and their houses. If you're not the best builder in the world, the house is absolutely outstanding as well. Outstanding is my new word. And awesome. And that's all there is to it, really. Very, very well done. Very, very nice mod. Well done. Download link in the description below, like usual, to it. Obviously, you click it. You need... It's 1.12 Forge mod, not Fabric mod, obviously, because we're not in 1.14. Strain your mods, fold a newest version of Forge, and you can have all these, all these beauties in your world for not much effort. And no lag. When you click them in lag. Let me just, in fact, before I go, let me show you this. So we'll get one, that we'll go across here. We'll get, um, just show you. So we'll get, uh, we'll get, we'll get Cheesecake's favourite. Boom, baby. We'll get this one down, the enchantment room, okay? So what you're going to do, once you've crafted it, you've got it in your hand like this. Okay. Click in the square in front of you, boom, baby, and there she comes. That's all you do, and that's it. And then you've got it in your, in your. <laughs> just all, I just love that. And you got it in your world, and you can rip it down if you want and put it somewhere else. And that's it. So you take care. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like. It always helps me out. You know what I mean? Oh, it always helps me out. And it's the first time you see me think about subscribing. You know what I mean? Because I, I do loads of more showcases and I do loads of let's plays. We're playing some really awesome maps at the moment in Bedrock. You take care. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one. Me, I'm gonna, I'm building myself a pixie village, quite help it. See you later, bye. Right, let me spawn a few more of these in and I'm away. <laughs>